In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to scroll on a Chromebook. And there are actually quite a few different ways that you can scroll on your Chromebook. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you all of them. So, obviously, if you're, Chrome, if you're using a regular mouse with your Chromebook, you can just use the scroll wheel to scroll, and it'll scroll. But, if you're using a trackpad and you don't have a real mouse, you can put two fingers on the trackpad and move them up and down. So you get your two fingers here, and you put them both on the trackpad at once, and then you move them down, and it scrolls. Or if you move them the other way, it scrolls the other way. But the direction that you need to move your fingers will depend on the settings of your Chromebook. So, as you can see, when Timmy moves Timmy's fingers down, it scrolls the page down, and when Timmy moves Timmy's fingers up, it scrolls the page up. But if you have something called reverse scrolling enabled on your Chromebook, it might actually be the opposite. So, you'll just need to try scrolling and basically see what happens, and then you'll know which way you need to move your fingers. But if you'd prefer to have it the other way, so you're not happy with the way it is now, it is actually quite easy to go into the settings and change that. So if you just come down and click on the time here, and then go up and click on this settings icon here, and then scroll down a bit in the settings until you get to mouse and touchpad and click on that. Now you'll see down the bottom of this list here, there's a thing called re enable reverse scrolling. So if you turn this switch on and we go back to Google Chrome, now if Timmy moves Timmy's fingers up, it will scroll the page down. And if Timmy moves Timmy's fingers down, it will scroll the page up. So if you want it to be that way, you could have it set that way, but if you prefer it the opposite way, you could just click on that switch to turn the switch off, and now it will be the opposite way. So now you move your fingers down, and it scrolls the page down, and you move your fingers up, and it scrolls the page up. So that's one way that you can scroll on your Chromebook, but if you don't like that way, or you find it really hard to work, or you can't get it to work or something, there is a different way you could use. So. If you move your mouse over to the right hand side of the screen, you should be able to get this little bar thing to pop up. It's kind of hard to see, but a little bar should pop up here, and it might be down here somewhere if you've scrolled down the page already a bit. But you'll find this bar, and then you'll just need to click and drag it down to scroll down the page, or drag it up to scroll up the page. And if you're using a proper mouse for this, you can just click the mouse button and then drag the drag it down with the mouse like you would drag anything with a mouse or if you're using a trackpad you'll just need to line the mouse up correctly and then with one finger hold down somewhere near the bottom of the trackpad and keep holding and then use a different finger to move your finger on the trackpad to move up or down like that and then you can drag the bar using your trackpad. So that's a different way you could do it. And another way you could scroll on your Chromebook is using the arrows on your keyboard, the arrow keys. So when you're on a page like this, if you just press on the down arrow key here, it will go down and you can hold it if you want to go really fast. Or if you press on the up key, it will go up. Timmy's not a huge fan of this way because it kind of feels a bit more work to have to take your fingers off the trackpad or the mouse and use the arrow keys, but if you prefer it or you find it easier, that is another option. So that's all the different ways that you could scroll with a mouse or a trackpad or your keyboard, but a lot of Chromebooks these days actually have a touch screen built in. And if your Chromebook has a touch screen, you can actually scroll by just reaching out and touching the screen. And it's just like a phone, so you can you just put your finger on the screen, and you move it up to scroll the page down, and you move, the, move it down to scroll the page back up again, a bit like you're sliding a piece of paper around, and it works very intuitively. So, if your Chromebook has a touch screen, that's certainly another option. And so that's all the different ways that you can scroll on your Chromebook. So that's really cool, but if you want to learn how to right-click on your Chromebook, you'll find how to do that in this video right here.